The following is a Thorf TV production brought to you in cooperation with Jack Thorfinson. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Saturday Gun Chat, that relaxing time way up north near the Canadian border where Mr. Holster chats about guns. Let's have a warm round of applause for that Saturday gun guy, Mr. Holster! Howdy, Barge! Yeah, it's me, Mr. Holster, and Jack. It's good to see you awake, Jack. Let's hope you can make it to the show. This, oh, let's start the show off, right? Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, you like my new glass? To the sunny slopes of long ago. Ah, that doesn't heat you up and cool you down all the same time. This is what we're talking about today. I've got my, sh well, I got some of my shock waves out. Yeah, we're getting a little heavy in shock waves. And the reason I did, I guess I should start with the other one, is if you saw my video on sights on shock waves, I put this nice Marble Arms Tritium Night Sight on the front of my shock waves. So I had that one shock wave that came without the, uh, sling mount on it. I put one on that first and then I got this one with the sling mount and put this nice sling on it and even get so you can see the sight somewhat. There we go. And I put this nice tritium night sight. It's made by Marble Arms. I got it at Brownells and it's the correct thread of 40 by 5. So the other day I ordered another one and they were out of stock and I had to wait about three weeks for it to come and when it came I was going to put it on my my winter time and this is just like Mr. Holster I camouflage this for winter and we have no snow <laughs> yeah you can't make this stuff up can you it's actually 50 degrees today 50 degrees when I got up holy kittens so at any rate I bought another one for this the correct thread size is what it was labeled on the package, and I went to put it on and it wouldn't go in. Yeah, it was too big, and I, I got my information out on these, and yeah, I ordered the same part number, the same thread size, and yet it would not fit. So I had to send it back, and the reason I bring this up is I, I got contacted by a couple people on my Facebook page, Mr. Holster. Yeah, Mr. Holster has a Facebook page under the name of Mr. Holster. And Mr. Holster's got a couple people that have bought that and had the same thing happen. So I wanted to bring that up this morning and let you know that maybe maybe you shouldn't buy one of those. <laughs> I sent it back and and uh, got a refund, and I'm just kind of thinking, I don't know. Do I wait and try again? Did they have just a snafu or what the deal is? I don't know, but I figured, well, I can call Brownells and ask them down the road. But I, I'm sh obviously I was correct in thinking it'll take them a while to figure out what's going on and clean this up. And, yeah, because... It's, it's, I've had people contact me two weeks after the fact on mine with the same problem. So just a heads up on that. If you order that, you're on your own. <laughs> I can't do anything for you. But what I did do to this when that happened is I, I just painted the brass bead sight on it white for the time being, which actually has worked out pretty nice. I mean, I, I really more than likely would not be using this at night anyway since I got the sling one with the big huge flashlight rigged up on it which I know it looks ridiculous and the flashlight is yeah it's the old one I used 20 years ago plus <laughs> but it's a brand new one just like that and I say the flashlight must be good if they're still making it all these years later that's what I say and it, uh, and yeah, I've got like a half a dozen of these because that's what I used and it just works great. And I know I always used to get ribbed when I went down to Gunsight using this Scorpion Streamlight. They'd make fun of me because everybody used those, um, what is the name of that company, Jack? Starts with an S. Yeah, it eludes me at the moment. But anyway, everybody uses those. And uh, I actually had one of those with the Gunsight logo on it. It never worked. <laughs> It was a piece of junk. I still got it, too, and it still doesn't work. At any rate, this thing cost half the price, and it's it's worked. Yeah, I've never had a problem. I still have the original one I bought that they were making fun at of me for bringing back in 1995, I think it was. So, 
and that still works. It's it's on my uh, nightstand. Yeah. So I, I'm happy with this, but the real reason I like it so much, not because I got a history with it and know this flashlight works here regardless of it being really big, because nowadays it could be half this size easily, but I like the fact that it turns on by pushing on the rear right there, and where it's sitting is just perfect for me being able to use it regardless of where the... See? I see as you can see. See? Regardless of where the the forend is, it's just there and easy to hit. And it just works for me. So I say, what the heck? Mr. Holster's never been one to throw away money. And since I got like seven of these, yeah, that's what I threw on this. I just thought I'd mention that because I had some questions of people ask me why I use such a big flashlight. Well, because it works. <laughs> it's proven to work because I, I, it's worked for me for like, yeah, probably 35 years. I don't want to figure it out. At any rate... One last thing before I leave you, I wanted to show you real quick, and that was how my my uh, SIG 380 magazine pouches turned out with my yeah shotgun shells in there. Absolutely fantastic. I got my slug loads ready to go. In and out they go. Nice and tight. Did a couple of them. I got a couple I haven't done yet. And, and the the opening on this one was actually small enough. It's a one, one and a half inch belt is what's supposed to fit, but I found most of my one and a half inch belts are really tight in it, and some of them don't fit at all. So what I did is I opened it up for the, because I got those belts that are a good one and a half inch thick that came from a saddle shop made them, those uh, tooled ones with the big buckles on them that I like to wear. And so I opened this one up a little, yeah. And which is fine, it was easy to do because I got all this stuff to do with other work. So I, I opened this one up a little and it fits fine on that. And I left this one because it fits absolutely perfect with the dozen uh, horsehide Andy Artunian belts I used to wear when I was working as a bodyguard. Those one and a quarter inch belts. Yeah, because you go out in public, gosh, nowadays it doesn't matter because people dress like monkeys. But back in the day, you go out in public and, and it's kind of you're kind of suspect if you're wearing a big belt with your suit, you see. So you had to have, and that was what Andy Artunian was so good at during the day, back in the day, of making those belts out of horse hide that were actually curved. Yeah, they would hold a big heavy 1911 in a holster, and still they only were an inch and a quarter, so it wasn't a dead giveaway that you were a bodyguard. You see what I'm saying? And I just thought I'd throw that on how nice these, I'm very happy with these, and Mitch Rosen does such nice work. These are such nice leather belts. I mean, I can't believe I got something like this. Fits on those beautiful rigs just fine. And I only had to pay nine bucks for this on the Six Hour website. And there's still some there available, guys, in case you want to make one of these up. There you go, guys. There's Saturday Gun Chat this morning, and we only ate up eight minutes and 20 seconds of your life. You'll never, ever, ever get back again. Right, Jack? Jack, 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 Jack! Wake up, Jack. You all right? Jack? I thought you died, buddy. You weren't moving at all. Too much partying, Jack. You, you gotta, you gotta trim it back. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you like our channel, please subscribe. Till next time, from Mr. Holster and Jack. Jack, please look at the camera. It's, the program's gonna be over shortly. He's, he's still mad at YouTube. For Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe.